Hi, this is Mathia Ford with FemaleDietHQ.com, and this morning I'm really excited about a few things because this is a perfect topic to talk about in combination with our new spice line. So I'm going to give you the chance to go to our website and sign up to be notified to be the first one when we're ready to release and we'll be releasing in late April, early May. I'm currently working on recipes for our new spice line. It's gonna be called Nickanese Kitchen. And um, Nickanese is the combination of my son's name, Nicholas, and my daughter, Bethany. And it's kind of spelled a little weird. It's N-I-C-K-A-N-N-Y apostrophe S. But easy for you to go over to the website renaldiethq.com that's our normal website forward slash spices s-p-i-c-e-s and that'll take you to a sign up for to get on the list for the early um, adopters and to get to know more about spices and what we're doing with our spice line so head on over there sign up I'll give you I'll you know, let you know kind of what's going on. You'll get a little sneak peek. The picture in the background is, at least if you're listening to this in the next four weeks, is the first spice that we've created. So um, it's a blend of peppers. And let me see if I can find, it's not, I know people are thinking like peppers, like red pepper and black pepper and stuff like that, but it's more than that. It's a beautiful blend and it has, these, um, it has like chili and a little bit of jalapeno. So it's got a little bite to it, but it's okay. It's got chili powder, red and green bell pepper, red pepper, jalapenos, onion, garlic, and cumin. All, all of my favorite spices. So I'm currently working on a um, set of about five recipes that I'll be doing that you'll be able to get download with the order or you might get them in recipe cards with the order depending so just want to let you know let you be <laughs> some of the first because I'm so excited it's salt free it's um, I'm gonna have the potassium and phosphorus content on the label so that is something that I know you crave and you really want and the these spices are made with you in mind definitely so that all said I'm excited to talk about meal prepping on a renal diet because it goes so well with spices. So you need to follow your diet, right? I mean, that's why I'm a dietitian. I tell you to follow your diet. You know if you follow your diet, you get healthier, you get feeling better. But sometimes it's hard because you have lots of things going on. So by taking the time to prep your meals, you're deciding ahead of time what you're gonna do, and that takes a lot of the willpower and the frustration out of the process. And that's a big thing, like if I have to choose and I don't have any fruit, I'm gonna pick something probably not as healthy for me. If I have fruit there, and I know that's what I was planning on eating is for my snack, that's I'm just gonna go grab that and come back and eat it. So, it continue, you continue to eat healthy no matter how hectic life gets. It encourages you to um, plan ahead. So one of the biggest things is you think about like what you're going to do for that week. And if your kids are doing something in the evening or if you have an event, if you have bingo, if you have, you know, whatever, like a quilting club, all of those things you can look at and say, okay, this week I have this coming up. On Tuesday, I'm going to be really super busy. I need to have a plan for that. I need to prep for that. I need to put food in the crock pot for that day. So everybody has something to eat. And it keeps you from grabbing fast food or grabbing not so healthy food for you. Um, so I want to give you some tips for a renal diet, healthy renal diet. And... The first tip is that you need to understand your dietary restrictions. Sometimes I start thinking everybody's restricted on phosphorus and potassium because I get a lot of questions about that. But the truth is with the renal diet, most of the time you're not restricted on those things. You're usually restricted on sodium, salt, 
and you're usually restricted on protein a little bit, especially if you're pre-dialysis. But other than that, your restrictions are going to vary depending on your stage and where you're at. So you just need to watch the salt, watch the protein, and whatever additional um, restrictions you have. But knowing and understanding those are the key to, to having a better plan, a better prep. Okay, planning comes before the prep. So, you know, I sell um, Kidney Diet Starter Kit, which is an easy way to get started with meal planning and prep. Um, I also have some meals, uh, recipes, meal plans. But planning comes before the prep. So before you even start to make some meals to put in the crock pot or gather recipes or whatever, you need to have a thing, like I said, what you're going to do that week and what is going to um, be happening and know how much time you have to prepare. You're going to be able to go to the grocery store and buy only those items that you need. Looking for renal diet recipes, you can head over to my website. You can go to several other places. I have a cookbook. You can get a different, um, you know, options for a renal diet. You don't have to just stick to chicken and rice. But know what that is. Get your shopping list made. Make sure it's kidney friendly. If you can, um, there are some grocery stores that offer for free the ability to do your shopping for you. So isn't that a gift if you have no time? or a gift if you are easily exhausted and you don't want to have to walk through the grocery store, you can put your order in online and go and pick it up. So plan your meal ahead. Plan your meals ahead. Get your shopping list done. Get it all put in. Get your food um, ready. And make sure that you, the day you're picking up your food is a day that you have time to do the prep. So if you saved your time and you don't have to go walk through the grocery store, you've got a couple hours to do your meal prep. Make sure you have those prep items on hand. So get your cookbooks out, print out your recipes, pre-cut, pre-prep um, things. So in the middle of your work, if you know you have several recipes that have onion and it's chopped onion, you bought enough onion for that, go ahead and chop all the onion at once and divide it out into different bowls or baggies or whatever you're going to use so that you can have that ready and it just goes together really quickly. Um, I do that with my recipes when I do my Zestify Your Diet videos. I have everything cut and prepped ahead of time, put in little bowls, and then as you see me put it into the bowl as I'm cooking and stuff. So um, I want you to be ready and be planning ahead. So do your meal plan and then do your meal prep. And don't forget portion control. So when you're thinking about your meal, your portion control is usually related to your meat item or your, you know, protein item. So try to make sure that you still have plenty of other food um, that you're going to be able to eat that with that meal so if you're having a three ounce portion of steak make sure you have enough rice or vegetables or rice and vegetables pasta to go with that meal so that you're feeling full make make a salad um, for that day that you can eat with your meal that's going to help you to feel more full uh, add some you know if you're not diabetic add some bread, toast some bread, add a little bit of butter to it. You can have a little more fat usually. But I can tell you that even if you're concerned about your weight, this meal prepping and planning will do wonders for your willpower and your ability to lose that weight. It's always dependent on what you put in your mouth, but um, you can make better choices. And in those crisis moments when you're feeling really hungry, you can make a better choice if you already have it kind of planned out. So um, don't forget portion control. Don't forget that you're going to be limiting some of your meals, so make sure you have plenty on the other parts of your meal that you're ready to do. Um, think about ways that you can better flavor your food. So like I talked about, this is perfect because our 
salt-free line of spices is coming out soon. But um, and go over to renaldiethq.com forward slash spices to get that information. But you're used to putting salt on your food, and now you're told you can't have salt. So what can you use instead? Perfect examples, lemon or lime. If you're having a piece of fish, the best flavoring is lemon or lime. It's really weird to me, but it's kind of funny. When I go to a restaurant and I get a chicken breast, I typically get lime to put on the chicken breast. And then when I get my water, I ask for lemon. There are two different flavors. A lot of people go, oh, they're the same. They're not. They taste different. Um, I like to flavor my beverages with lemon, and I like to flavor my food with lime. That doesn't mean you can't, but you certainly um, should try it. It gives that zing, that zest, that flavor that you're looking for. Um, lemon, lime, bay leaf, good to put into sauces and then take out, you know, before you serve the actual sauce um, or... You know, you can use bay leaf and turkey, that type of thing. Oregano, parsley, that Italian seasoning blend. We're going to have one of those coming out really soon, too. Um, but those are great. You've got bar balsamic vinegar. And a thing I love to do with balsamic vinegar is to put a cup in a, in a saucepan and then cook it for 10 or 15 minutes while it slowly boils out the extra water and it becomes a nice thick glaze sauce. Very strong, very flavorful, and delicious on just about everything if you like that flavor. Um, so try that out. Peppercorn and dill. So you can just put peppercorns into something or you can grind them into um, food, you know, like, pepper mills, that type of stuff. They're best if they're ground fresh, but of course you're, if, you're, if you've got black pepper and that's what you want to use, that's great. There's dill that gives a certain flavor, and dill you can put into a lot of foods while you're cooking them as well, and it kind of gets into that food as you're cooking it. Um, you also have, like I was talking about, the new spices coming out is going to have cumin, and it's going to have chili powder. Both of those are salt-free, and they also have a great flavor. So just those are some ideas for you of things that you can use to flavor your foods. You don't have to, but if you're looking for something, you're just going to have to get past that time when your body is saying, Ugh, I want salt. This doesn't taste right because there's no salt. And actually spend a little time tasting that food and how good it tastes without that extra salt. So foods that are good for meal prepping, you should, um, I want to, let me go back a minute, prep your meals on the weekends so you don't make bad choices. With busy schedules, if you're doing something in the weekday evening, I know my life is so hectic. If you're a mom or a grandma and you help a lot with things, weekdays are going to be pretty hectic. Now if you have time during the day on a weekday that might be perfect because maybe nobody's home and you can have your kitchen you can mess it up as much as you want put all the dishes in the dishwasher and be done that's the other great thing about meal prep is you can dirty a lot of dishes get them all washed and then you don't dirty as many during the week so there's many meals you can make ahead of time you can freeze them we're going to have a crock pot recipe challenge in the um, caregiver group so if you go to Renal Diet HQ on Facebook, which is where you are, if you're watching this video or if you're listening to the podcast, go to facebook.com forward slash renal diet. And you can go in there and there's our caregiver group link. You can go there. We're going to have a crock pot challenge in about a month. So those are ways that you can cook foods ahead. But also the following foods really work well in um, prepping for a long period of time or hold good in the freezer. So beans and lentils um, are good. Ground meat, and especially you want to cook the meat first and then put it into the recipe. Um, eggs you can use, you know, day of, but eggs stay good for a long time in your refrigerator. 
brown rice, pasta, carrots, cauliflower, kale, beets, apples, and bananas. I know if you have potassium or phosphorus restriction, you're not going to want bananas, but just be aware that those are an option. So those can hold well. And one thing that I like to do with bananas, this is kind of, I guess it's on topic. Once they get a little brown, then you're like, oh, i got to eat them really fast, but what if you're not in the mood for bananas? Peel them and freeze them. And then when you eat them out of the freezer, they taste like banana ice cream. So how awesome is that? Eating a healthy food and it tastes really good. So the little bit of sweetness that comes when it starts to get brown, it gets a little sweeter. Put that in the freezer. You can freeze three, four in a bag. We have them in the freezer all the time because we're always buying bananas and then people don't eat them. And you just make them up ahead of time. And then, of course, you can make them in smoothies or whatever you like to do. but um, those are ways that you can get your um, healthy, you know, dose of banana or fruit or whatever and not have a problem later. So you're not wasting food. So I'm going to put in the comments the uh, general blog post that I'm kind of talking about and, and using the information from. And I want to remind you of a few things. So you can head on over to the website, renaldiethq.com forward slash spices. I am super excited about this because I've been working on it for a while. And I'm going to make some salt-free blends. And I'm going to make some new recipes for you. And it's just going to be something that you really love. But head on over there to the Spices sign up. I'll just send you information. You'll get discounts. You'll get deals. So when I first release it, I'm going to give some, you know, a discount coupon for a couple days. And I'm even going to pre-sell it. So you'll be able to, you know, get it, get it first and have the first taste and the first chance to test it. And if you buy salt-free spices now, um, these are just going to be a little different. So the other thing we're doing in the Renal Diet HQ uh, caregiver group, which is the group that goes with the Facebook page, we are going to do a crockpot challenge. So I encourage you to head up over there and sign up. And I also encourage you to head on in there because we're going to come up with the name for the first spice. So Nick and e's Kitchen is the brand, but this four new um, you know, blend of spices, I need a name. And I'm going to let them help me decide. So I encourage you to head on over there. So have a great day. And sign up for the email list if you want to know when these come out. And just make sure that everything you do, um, you just make little steps in the right direction every day. I want to encourage that. And I want, to I want you to have a great day and a great weekend. Thanks.